Are you ready to jingle your bells? Hey guys, it's T. Kyle, and today is December 1st, which means now I can listen to All I Want for Christmas is You on repeat for the next three weeks. The extra Horse. festive version. Right. Today I have a little story for you guys. It is a Christmas tradition that I started last year when I was wasted walking home from a holiday party, and let me explain. Last year, I went to a holiday party, and I was one of the only single people there at this party, which is fine, I'm used to it. I'm 26, I've been single my whole life, whatever. So we're there, and it's a bunch of couples, and everyone's like all lovey-dovey, and like, oh my god, you know, all I want for Christmas is you. Oh, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. Bitch! I got wasted, like no joke, I was hammered and I was ready to go out, I was like wanted to go dancing and just stay out all night. Everyone else who pretty much is in a couple is like, oh no, we're tired, we don't wanna go, we have to be up tomorrow. And I'm like, I'm gonna go home then. So I go home, I get off at the subway stop by 30 Rock, which is next to the tree, so it's crazy busy. It's all these couples and families and everyone's like cuddling and it's like love in the air. For some reason, I think because I was at this party that had all these couples, and then I got off the subway station and it was more couples, I got like really sad for like a hot second. And I was like, oh, like, I'm single and I never get like that. I can get upset about something and then usually very quickly get over it. Like when I got charged all that money for that fucking Diet Coke. So I'm walking back and I'm like listening to my Christmas music and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start my own Christmas tradition this year because I'm single and I'm gonna make something that I can do for myself every single year. You know, I'm like all like, you know, walking down the sidewalk and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna make my own shit. I'm drunk and I somehow concoct this idea about this Christmas tradition that I'm going to start and it's going to last all these years. I don't need a man. I've got this is the tradition that I came up with in five minutes while I'm walking home 10 sheets to the wind. This is something that I can do every single year that's for myself and it's something fun that I can do and look forward to at the change of the season. And that is every single year I want to buy a Christmas ornament that has something to do with something that happened that year. And then that way, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I can look back on my tree and be like, oh my God, do you remember when this happened? Now I'm pretty sure that other people all across the world do this. It's like not really that innovative, but whatever. I somehow come up with this plan and I'm like, well, this year I need an ornament. Like I have to go get one. So I walk into Times Square, which is like down the street from my apartment. It was this huge Christmas store that just had hundreds of ornaments. And I was like, oh my God, this is fate. I walked in and I picked out something that was going to be my first ornament in this new holiday tradition. And this is what I picked out. A Bud Light can. This is not just a regular Bud Light can. This is a Bud Light can covered in like some kind of cheap plastic glittery frost. Like what the, f I'm pretty sure that I was thinking to myself, well, this is what I drank tonight and this is my first year that I'm starting this tradition. So I'm trash. You can take the boy out of Jersey, but you cannot take the Jersey out of the boy. Let me tell you that. Okay. So that was my ornament last year. Great. I'm pretty sure that I went home, put it on my tree, and then completely forgot about this whole night of everything until last week when I opened up my Christmas box and the Bud Light can was sitting on top of, you know, my ornament box and I was like, oh my god. I remember why I bought this. I thought about the tradition and I was like, hmm. That was actually a pretty good idea. I think I'm gonna actually continue doing that. This is the ornament that I bought for this year. It's super cute. It is um, a scene from Postcard Row in San Francisco. For my 26th birthday, I just kind of 
booked a trip by myself to San Francisco. It was on my bucket list and I was like, I am not waiting on anyone to book this trip. I want to go. And I went and I went like hiking through the park and saw the bridge. One of the, my favorite things about San Francisco was the architecture and like all the buildings and the different colors. It just reminded me of a really um, happy time this year. And it also reminded me of a painting that I got. Um, it's actually, oh, it's like over here. I got this at the airport when I was there and I was like, oh my God, perfect. Matching um, San Francisco memorabilia. I was going to get the work bitch Christmas ornament because I saw Britney Spears in Vegas on New Year's like to kick off the year and I thought, oh, I should get, you know, a Britney ornament, but I already have two and she is already on my tree in a more significant way than an ornament because let me show you something. You can judge me for this. I don't give a fuck. I have, uh, my tree topper is an angel. Um, I had a star for a couple years and then I switched to an angel because um, this is my tree topper. It is a Britney Spears Oops I Did It Again tour Barbie doll dressed as the Holy Spirit. Um, this is not a joke. I, this is serious. This has been on my tree for the past two years. Um, it is iconic. Basically, she sits on top of the tree and she sings Brightest Morning Star for a Britney Jean promo. You're my light that's in the- Shit, I forgot the words. Oh my god, I'm a fake fan. That is all from me. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And let me know if you guys have any cool traditions that you guys do. Leave me a comment below and make sure to subscribe for more videos. I have a couple more coming up before the end of the year. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching and I'll talk to you soon. I'm excited about my tree and it's gonna be iconic every single year. Look how cute my tree is.